Hi, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Ben. Today I'm going to walk around this 2015 Alfa Romeo QV line. So I just wanted to, to point out a few different features that the car has got and actually go through and give you a bit of an indication on any marks or scratches um, that I can see across the vehicle. So as we can see here, what we've got is the nice big aggressive lines that we are, that Alfa Romeo is um, known for with that nice grill on the front um, and the number plate set to the side. So something that takes a little bit of getting used to, but I actually do enjoy the, the, um, the, the look that the car has got. So let's run through together what we've actually got here so we can we go through it together. So looking at the bonnet here, we've got the nice blue um, color that the Alfa Romeo has um, with the nice pearl in there. So you can see that nice fleck through the paint as well. Now looking over the bonnet, just looking to see if there's any marks or scratches that I can see, but can't see anything really there. Um, so just going to run through, we do have your fog lamps at the front there, um, nice big grill opened as well, so it lets that air flow through the vehicle. We do have your, um, rev your part front sensors on the vehicle as well, so it makes the ease of parking. As we step down over here to the driver's side, now let's look at the front quarter panel here. Um, so no marks or scratches that I can see. Um, a little tiny scratch there, but they are so minute, they're, they're, they're next to nothing. Looking at the front wheel, um, the alloy, no marks or gutter ash on there as well. And we do have tyres that are probably 90%, so the tyres are as new. Nice, sleek little uh, side mirrors there as well, so really, really stand out. It sort of greyed off as well, so as it, you can see with the grey wheels, the grey mirrors and we do have your grey door handles as well so really really stand out. Looking at the driver's side door there, um, no marks or scratches that I can see and even looking inside here just to see if there is any marks where you normally do get them, there is a little scratch in there that you can see so um, if I can get the camera to zoom in on that a little bit you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, Looking here at the, the rear door, um, the one thing you can see there is no door handle. Now this is one thing that is um, a part of Alfa Romeo. We do have the door handle up on here. So sleek design, um, your door handle is up in the rear behind the window. Um, so it does give that um, aggressive line you can see going through the back there, allows that line to really stand out and you have your door handle up here. As we can look here from the side, we can see that the car has already got window tint on it as well. Um, so really, really saving, saving you as the customer a little bit more money. As we look down here to the rear, um, rear tire, that alloy, gutter rash free. So there's actually no rash on that at all. And we have got good tires on there as well. So the tires are, uh, have passed and over to the back. So. Now we can see the Alfa Romeo with that nice gold badging um, there with the Giulietta, um, the Giulietta badging as well. We do have your reverse sensors there as well with the really, really good, nice big tail lights on there as well. Just really gives it, finishes the car off and makes the car look the part. Now, just so you know, you press that button, that's gonna open the boot. So opening the boot there, you can see that it is a really, really large deep boot. Now you do have your spare tire in there. Um, let me just actually have a look. It looks like it is a space saver as well. So um, you do have a maximum of 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers with that tire. But at least you do have a spare tire in the car. You do have a 12 volt um, socket as well so if you are going um, places or if you, you're traveling you can put your little fridge in there to keep keep everybody in the car happy that they've got food and drinks in there as well presentation of this vehicle is is very very tidy um, you can see there from as we've walked around there's no marks or big scratches that I can notice um, the other good point as well you do have a rear window uh, wiper as well. So that's gonna give you that little bit more um, visibility in the wet conditions. As we step down to the passenger side now, um, again, those aggressive lo uh, lines that we spoke about. One thing as well, 
to keep the occupants safe in the car. We can see that aggressive line which looks the part, but there is actually a reason behind it as well. So internal structure inside the door, um, so that's going to give you they, they, what they're called side intrusion bars. Now that door being so wide, if we actually have a listen, I'll try and get the mic as close as possible. We can hear there that really solid sound um, when the door closes. So that side intrusion bar, um, that's gonna keep the occupants safe inside the vehicle. So if there is any side intrusion, um, the, the door takes most of the, of the um, impact and it actually disperses the pressure across the side of the vehicle, not into the vehicle. So that is what they call the side intrusion bars, um, just so you know exactly why they put all these big lines on the vehicle. We do have your spoiler down on the, on the Alfa Romeo as well, this being a sport, sporty coupe. Um, looks, looks really, really tidy with your nice, um, the nice spoiler kit on there as well. Looking here at the, um, the, the front passenger side door, again, no marks, and even just looking in there, even the door handle, there is actually no marks in there either. As we step to the front, um, again, you know, all the alloys are clear of any gutter rash, um, so there's no gutter rash on them. These tyres are a 22540ZR with an 18 inch rim, so um, good power to weight ratio um, and being able to get up and, and um, use the car for what it is, a, a sports car, um, the, you're going to get the traction that you need. So tyres are good. So as you can see, quality around the vehicle presents very, very well. Um, so I just wanted to, to run through exactly what you are looking at. I think that probably the best part of this vehicle is the front. Now let's go underneath the bonnet. Let me just open the, um, the bonnet up for you. So over here on the right hand side, um, on the driver's side. So it has had the conversion done properly coming into Australia. If I can just uh, find the bonnet release, which is just there, right above the Alfa Romeo badge. So we do have here the four-cylinder. Um, <coughs> sorry, this <coughs> this is a 1.8 litre turbo, putting out 177 kilowatts, a massive 340 newton meters of torque, coupled with a dual clutch six-speed automatic. Okay, so as you can see there, um, multi-air turbo ben benzina that's uh um, the alfa romeo um this car is going to get you zero to 100 in six seconds so that's very very quick um puts you into a um a nice sports um sports shift auto um so you really really the car is really really quick going to get seven liters per 100 kilometers with a 60 litre tank. So you're gonna get on average around that 857 to 860 kilometers per tank. Now, I'll run through a little bit more inside, but you do have a five star NCAP safety rating on this vehicle as well. So it it is very, very safe. Um, the one thing I always do like to touch on when it comes to that five star NCAP safety rating is some of the features that you have got even under the bonnet that's going to get you that end cap safety rating okay so as we can see here we do have a, um, a bonnet latch now that bonnet latch you can see that there is a hole that's been cut out there and down here we can see that there is a little hook okay so just where my finger is that hook will actually go back up underneath it through that through that hole now if in the event of any front collision that will actually stop the bonnet from going back through the windscreen um, and it's actually going to alongside the strategic weakening spots underneath the bonnet that bonnet will crumple okay so that is crumple zones and that is going to protect you in the vehicle so very very safe um, very safe vehicle and Alfa Romeo have been around a long time and doing it very well for a long time Okay, so now inside this Alfa Romeo, I just want to run through a few different little things that we've got here. Um, and being Italian uh, make, so European, does have your indicators over here on the left-hand side. Now looking at the infotainment system that we have got here, um, we have got your navigation system here, very, very easy to use. 
Um, so you basically can just go in, enter the postcode that you're looking at going. So let's just type some numbers in, um, 3149. Um, so there it is there. Um, spell out your street so you, you, you can put um, any street in. So we can just go, so Essex Road um, or Esperance and then just type in a house number and it'll take you to where you wanna be. You can simply just press that to go back to where you wanna go. Um, we do have your radio system there as well. So that runs through, you can tune, um, everything is touch screen as well. Media, so with the media system, you do have an SD card and you've got your USB down here as well. Um, so very, very simple to put in what you want to do. Um, you go back to here, you've got your navigation screen and then you've got your phone. So you can connect your pet MP, your Bluetooth um, phone through here. You do have more as well, which just goes through a few different um, things that we've got. So you've got your um, direction that that you're facing so we're facing west here 21 degrees so you've got your temperature outside as well um, and then you can go back to to the radio from there as well so that's back on the radio station that you're on um, settings and your back button you've got your mute as well so you can um, mute the audio and you can tap to turn screen on and off okay so very very handy um, as we go across here, we do have your auto door locking function, um, turning on and off. We do have um, your headlight functions there that you can um, play around with. Um, so that's just going to dim um, your lights. It turns the lights on and off. Um, and we have got over here your auto headlights as well. Um, like I said, indicators are over here. On the right hand side, we do have your auto wipers and your um, your wipers there and the wiper for the rear as well, as we spoke about before. We do have two keys for the vehicle. So you do have the two car, car keys there for it. Um, over here on the right hand side, very simple, easy system to use for your mirrors. Um, you've just got your left and right um, function control and then you've just got your adjustment there as well. Um, now for people that live in tighter areas, um, you've got your auto, so you can fold your mirrors in and out as you need to, and then you've got your window controls there as well. On the steering wheel, as you can see here, again, going along with everything outside, we do have a really nice sporty steering wheel. It does have the airbag in there as well with a nice um, gold Alfa Romeo badging. You do have your hang up and um, pick up phone calls which then you can actually go through and seek from your radio as well. So everything is linked to your infotainment system. As we look down here, we do have your dual zone climate control, um, which you can turn auto um, or you can adjust where the air is gonna be going through by just simply clicking the buttons that you want to, um, to set where you wanna send the air to. Um, and then you've got your power on and power off. Um, so very easy to use. Like I said before, you've got the Sports Shift Automatic, so the dual clutch, which is a six-speed auto. Um, nice, um, nice gearbox in this car as well, so QV line. Now, the one thing it does take a little bit of getting used to with the with the dual clutch system, but for the people that are inquiring on an Alpha, um, you would probably already be aware of what it is anyway. So. We do have park brakes, so just your normal manual park brake. Um, we do have a 12 volt, um, 12 volt uh, charger there as well. Um, the other thing too with this vehicle is we do have leather seats in the, in the car, um, nice Italian leather. Um, so as you can imagine with the, the stitching, you can see there's a fair bit of stitching on the seats here with them as well. Um, so that's one thing that the Italians do very well is is their leather seating. So very, very comfortable car to be sitting in as well. Um, as we pan around, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So the quality in the seats are really, really nice. They've been very well, have um, hardly been sat in. So as you can imagine for a car that is a 2015, it's only done 17 and a half thousand Ks. So, the other thing that leads into is just want to go through the service history of the car, which it has got a good service history. Um, 
So it's had the 15,000k service done and the 30,000k service done. The first one was done at 14,821. Um, the second service was done at 15,995. So it has been more so done on time rather than kilometres because as you can see there, um, it, in that second year, it's, it's done very, very little case. So that is the, that is the car. That's the, the inside of this beautiful Alfa Romeo. So there you have it. There's the walk around presentation of this 2015 Alfa Romeo Giulietta um, in the QV line. So um, for any questions or a test drive today, please call us here on 9907 0555 and thank you for watching.